Hey, what's up, everybody? Pep Man, Matt Mara, Count of Arts. We're taking a look at another game here in the 4A West bracket. We've got R.J. Reynolds uh, from Winston-Salem coming down to take on Vance. Uh, you look at these two teams, uh, breaking it down uh, with the stats we have from R.J. Reynolds. Uh, we've got a, a team here that's um, pretty balanced, to be honest with you. Uh, they've thrown the ball 270 times, and they've ran it 299 times, so that's pretty good balance they're more of a pass first um if you call it anything but it's still pretty pretty good uh balance there uh the quarterback mensch is a junior number 11 um he's thrown for 1646 yards 14 touchdowns 13 interceptions this year um you know that's about 150 yards a game um not bad numbers there and then you look at the uh, the running uh, situation. They've got a couple guys here. Revel, number six, has rushed for 586 yards, 5.3 yards of carry, seven touchdowns. Uh, Wilson, number five, he must be a short yardage guy because he's got eight touchdowns but only uh, 3.5 yards of carry and 47 carries. So you get in the short yardage red zone, you can look for him. And then number one, uh, Bethea. It's a senior, 324 yards rushing, 6.1 yards of carry, four touchdowns. Um, so they, they really like to run it to get it into the end zone here. 21 rushing touchdowns, uh, 16 passing. Uh, you look at the receivers here, uh, but they also is a good receiver. He's got uh, about 400 yards receiving, two touchdowns, 27 catches. That leads the team. Um, Revel um, is at 26 catches. And then Wilson, number five, 24 catches. So a lot of these same guys are featured running the ball and throwing the ball here. Um, it kind of gives me an idea of a, a spread type of offense. You're doing a lot of different things. Getting the ball into your playmaker's hands. Um, Harrison, number seven, the sophomore, 17 catches, 229, four touchdowns. So they spread the wealth pretty good here if you're R.J. Reynolds. So if you advance, you got to really kind of key on, you know, when these guys like to get the ball in certain situations and then look at those tendencies uh, to try to shut that stuff down. Um, let's go back to the quarterback, Minch. He's not a dual threat guy. He does not have um, many rushing yards on the year, so he's pretty much going to sit in the pocket when he drops back to, to uh, pass and throw the football. And then you look at him on defense here. Um, the guys you want to look out for. Uh, Dunlap, number three, is a senior. He's got 92 tackles, 18 tackles for loss. So he's definitely a key that you got to uh, look at with your Vance on the offensive side of things. Um, they've got Brown, who's a senior, 68 tackles, 13 tackles for loss. Uh, Crowley's a junior, number 88. He's got 55 tackles, 18 tackles for loss. So these guys like to get in the backfield and make plays. Um, also, you've got... Uh, Imes, number 30, is a junior with 81 tackles and 12 tackles for loss. All right, so they're a very aggressive type of defense here. Um, then sack-wise, um, they've got 39 sacks as a team, so they don't mind getting after it, like we said. Uh, Crowley leads them with 10 sacks on the year, number 88. And then you've got a couple guys at six. Porter, number 18, is a sophomore. Wilson, a senior, number 21. And then Brown, number 52, a senior. All right, so if you advance, you're going to look at an aggressive defense here that's trying to uh, get turnovers and cause havoc. Um, as far as interceptions go, number five, Wilson is a senior. He's got four interceptions on the year that leads the team. Uh, R.J. Reynolds is not a team that we hear much about in Charlotte. They, they're 6-5 and five overall, 1-4 and four in the conference. Um, so, you know, they went and got off to a good start in their uh, non-conference schedule. Uh, but unfortunately, they got in the conference play and they struggled a little bit. All right, when you look at Vance, they're eight and three overall, five and two in the conference. And the big thing we talk about with Vance is, you know, they can be the best team in the state, uh, like they looked against North Mac, and then they can be a team that struggles, like we saw against Huff. So, um, you know, if they're cooking and they're ready to go, um, RJ Reynolds is going to have a tough night on Friday night. Um, they don't have any stats on Max Preps, but just kind of going through their roster and giving you impressions. Uh, Nigel Somerville, the quarterback, uh, num number two, a uh, very, very strong arm. Um, he's come on as the uh, season has gone on um, under the tutelage of Coach Brand. And um, he's starting to throw the ball well and read the offense and uh, take command of it. 
Um, the backfield, MJ Williams, number three, Kalen Clark, number 20, um, 29. Uh, those guys do an excellent job in sharing the load. Two different kind of backs. Williams is a speed guy. Clark's the power guy. And uh, they, they really coexist well. They've got a really good offensive line, uh, big, strong guys that can come off the football as well as pass protect. Uh, number 17, Gary Williams, the tight end, is a very good player. Um, you have to watch him uh, in the passing game especially. Uh, number seven, Jalen Riley is the top receiving threat on the outside. He can absolutely go get it, uh, especially throwing the ball down the field. Uh, defensively, we talk about the guys um, that, that star on that side of the ball. Um, we talk about Faison and N, Nathan Jr. at linebacker. Those two guys lead that defense. Um, they do a pretty good job um, against the pass, against the run. It's where they seem to struggle sometimes. And, um, you know, that's where they got hurt against Huff. When Huff was able to run the ball, it opened up the rest of their offense uh, to do big things. Um, so this is, um, when you always talk about Vance, you talk about a, a very talented roster. Um, they, they, they really have the natural ability to go out and do some special things. Um, it's just the consistency that, you know, um, is the, the question mark with these guys. Um, but they have the talent and then they have the coaching to make a long run here in the playoffs. Uh, so I'm expecting a good game, uh, Friday night over at Vance. Hope the fans come out and support. Um, good luck to both teams, and uh, we definitely appreciate your support. Thank you for watching uh, CarolinaVarsity.com. Thanks.